Hey guys, it's the Slow Coffee, and today inside this Monster Legends Guides video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of beginner tips that you can improve at the game. Alright, so first of all, the main thing that you're going to want to do right off the bat is try to get Mythics. So Mythics are probably the best monsters, well they are the best monsters in the game, and they are actually pretty easy to get even for new players. Alright, so the first way you can get a free Mythic is through the free Legends Pass. You don't even have to spend money on the paid Legends Pass, so don't worry about that. There's actually a monster you can get completely free just for completing the free legends pass and then you can also get a free mythic out of multiplayer every season i can actually show you right here because i have a multiplayer chest once you open up these chests that you get from battling you actually get cells for the monster. And then once you get 100 of these cells, you can go ahead and craft them in the monster lab. So once you have some mythics inside of your hatchery, you will realize that you actually need a mythic habitat because you cannot put mythics or legendaries inside of normal habitats. So in order to find these habitats, you go into the shop, go into habitats, and then scroll all the way till the end. And then you'll see them both right here, and they do cost quite a bit of gold, but it actually isn't that hard to get this much gold. Basically, what you're going to want to do is make a bunch of nature habitats, so just buy them from the same section and then you're going to want to go over here and breed together the grass and fire commons and you'll realize that you'll get pandakins from that breeding and then you'll want to fill up all of those habitats with pandakins and you can actually see that i have a pandakin right here this is what he looks like and then once you go ahead and fill up all of your habitats with this monster you'll go ahead and start feeding them all evenly and then once they get to level 50 they will go ahead and max out their gold production at 184 per minute and then if you have gold runes on them you can go ahead and boost it and then once you do that you will go ahead and get like tons of gold you will have so much gold you won't even know what to do with it as you can see i have 5 billion gold but that is mainly because i transitioned to legendary farming what that means is basically once you end up getting enough legendaries you can go ahead and start transitioning over to legendary farming rather than panican farming so you'll basically just sell all of your panicans and replace them with legendaries and legendary habitats and of course you will also want to buy the boosts you can go and buy the fire and the grass boost in order to boost up your panicans and then you'll make even more gold and then once you have a ton of gold you don't really have to worry about food because you can just go ahead and start making a bunch of rainbow snow peas but until then you can go and get food from the adventure map and then you can also get gold out of the adventure map until you get all your panicans but honestly you should be able to start panican farming on the first day since it only takes like 10 seconds to breed a panican and it only takes like 10 seconds to place the nature habitats and of course once you get better you can start upgrading your nature habitats to hold more gold and then you'll be able to make even more gold and as far as gyms go you can go ahead and go in here and once you start getting a bunch of mythics you can go into dungeons and go into era sagas and there's actually a halloween one right now that you should definitely do but besides that you can go in metropolitan era and then you can go ahead and do these for all of the mythics that you end up getting and by the way in order to legendary farm you will need a lot of legendaries in order to do that you will probably need to do the breedable legendaries i'm actually going to release a video very soon on all of the breedable legendaries so if you need that definitely subscribe to get that in your inbox it'll probably come out in the next couple of days so if you're watching this like ahead of time then you can probably find it already out on my channel so yeah that's pretty much it for this video that is how you're going to progress as a new player and do well in the game as a new player if you want to find out like which mythics are good and which ones you really want to get you should probably check out the official monster legends competitive wiki and they actually have a full tier list on there of all of the mythics ever created so yeah that'll be really helpful for you guys when you're trying to progress through the game so that is going to be it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye